This is Emma Wright. As as you know, I hope you know. I really hope you know. <laughs> I kid. Um. At any rate, after this second chapter, it's like this. This chapter has made me so very mad. And it's not because it's like I disagree or I agree or whatever. It's that I don't know. I literally don't know, and I can't make I. I don't know where to make a decision because I play devil's advocate for fun, and my brain's like, "But wait, no! But wait, no! But wait, no!" Um. And I'm reminded a bit of back when I was in fourth grade. I went to this private Christian school, and my um, teacher at the time, he gave us, he would give us these magazines every Friday, and they're like little two-page magazine pamphlet thingies that would just share kind of news in a more conservative Christian light. I remember, um, gosh, I remember reading some stuff about um, Obama's campaign. Dang, that feels like ages ago, but anyway, like, I was in fourth grade. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't really care. But I do remember one of the articles being about the cloned um, sheep. I can't remember her name. But, um, and then how my fourth grade teacher went on a rant about playing God. And because I was in fourth grade and kind of dumb, I was a dumb fourth grader. (laughs) But he went on this rant about playing God. And I don't, I didn't understand what that meant at the time. Like, living up in a Christian household, going to a private Christian school, I had no idea what that was supposed to mean or what was the importance of that, yada, yada, yada. And it wasn't until years and years and years and years later when I was watching um, Jurassic Park, like, actually watching it more than just, ooh, dinosaurs, ooh, scary, Um, But, like, actually watching it and watching what um, the movie was talking about and what um, Michael Crichton, the author of the books, was trying to get at with his books, where I really understand or understood what that concept meant. And I'm reminded of a um, Malcolm quote. Malcolm, is that his name? The, um, uh, The chaotician. Is like, um, and I'm paraphrasing here, um, we got so excited about wondering whether or not we should that we didn't stop to ask ourselves if, or no, if we could, that we didn't stop to ask ourselves if we should. And there's that weird moral thing of should we, should we not, are we crossing a line, are we playing God when we do this? And uh, we watched all those videos about improving food amounts or improving, um, like, uh, the fish that they were um, genetically manipulating so it would grow spring and fall or all year round, so it was just twice as big, three times as big as the original fish. And, like... I was watching it, and it's like, it's like we're trying to fix the world around us instead of fix ourselves. Fix our own needs, fix our own food habits, yada, yada, yada. Um, And I'm reminded of something my mom always, or my mom used to tell me while clothes shopping. Great thing to say while clothes shopping, especially pants shopping. It's way too easy to get the next size. It's way too easy to accept how things are and let they ha- or let them happen, but not or then do anything about it and change this negativity, this certain thing, whatever it is. It, it's the idea of are we trying to? I don't know. It's like our should we be focusing so much on fixing the way that God made everything and instead fixing on ourselves or fixing ourselves because we are in charge of ourselves God I'm I'm getting theological here as theologically I don't know but I'm getting theological here like God gave us this world but it wasn't a 
this is yours. It's saying, this is mine, and I'm letting you use it. So take freaking care of it. And so I'm wondering if this is an abuse of that care. Of, and it's, um, it's like uh, your friend lets you borrow their CD collection, but instead of using your CDs to listen to great music, you... Um, crush the CDs and turn them into a sculpture. That's, that's what I keep thinking of. It's like we, I, I don't know. I, I always wonder if we've already gone too far with us, um, like by the same definition and by the argument that I'm making is the corn we eat, the carrots we eat already too far. I, I, I don't know. That's the thing. This chapter is making me angry. So I, yeah, the, these are my thoughts about the chapter and what's happening. And I really hope the next chapter is less morally painful, please. Anyway, I'm out.